Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 7th, 2023. Well, my goodness sakes, we had some news yesterday that kind of shocked the market, and those sellers came in hard. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, yesterday we had ADP numbers that came in extremely hot, and well, that brought in um, a lot of bears. All of a sudden, there was quite an attack um, on the... Uh, the downside of the market and as you can see we drop through some pretty ugly um, uh, ugly selling drop through some uh, price support levels that could prove to be critical so first off let's take a look at the diamonds here uh, I want to want you to notice we had a gap up here to uh, this um, resistance area and now we've gapped away on this side so what does that establish well that puts in a possible island reversal pattern. That's where we have um, a window on both sides of that little consolidation up there, um, raising some concerns. So um, I had mentioned yesterday that we could pull back and test that um, gap right there. What we ended up doing is gapped below that level, leaving that island reversal up there which creates a resistance level in the chart right in here. So if those bulls were to find inspiration in the data today, then we would look for a retest of this resistance up here. Now, if that resistance holds, then we, we could run into a bit of a problem. I want you to notice that's a little bit of a lower high coming in there. We'll want to watch that carefully if that transpires into being a true island reversal uh, in the market now if we can push right on through there then i would suggest we come back up and we work on filling that gap and pushing right back into that resistance high but once again i, I want to point out that little bit of a downtrend showing up that could be a little bit problematic even if we are able to push right back up into that area if the bears continue to find inspiration today, well, first off, we'd look for a retest of the lows. We had quite a bounce back yesterday. And if you remember, um, I, I had placed this area right in here as the next support level if that gap fills and suggested it'd be a pretty painful sell off if we went, went all the way down there. And well, that's kind of what we had. So looking at this chart, if we were to um, break this support level, where do we go from there? I would guess the next level down is going to be somewhere right in here. You can see a lot of price support through this area in the chart. So we'll want to watch that carefully um, as the next level lower if um, yesterday's low gets taken out in the chart. Now, the good news is there's no problem here. Um, when we look at the technicals of the chart, certainly this might have been painful if you were over long um, the market, but as you can see, we're holding in here. We've got our 50 uh, day moving average just below. So even if we pull back to this level right in here, it doesn't look like um, you know all is lost here in the market. Certainly this resistance is proving to be very, very difficult here on the day. And I think it's really only going to depend, you know, it's, it's a total guess as to which way the market's going to go today. And it's going to be based on the economic data that we get this morning. So we'll talk about that in just a second. Let's take a look at our SPY. SPY, similar situation, island reversal here in the chart. As you can see, we've got a gap above, gap below. Yesterday turned out to be a lot better bounce back here in, um, in the SPY, mostly because of tech giants kind of lifting us back up. Nobody wants to sell big tech. And as you can see in here, we still have that problem 
um, of this potential double top along with that island reversal. So if those bulls were to uh, find inspiration today, well, then I'm going to look right in this area to see if we can push up, test the underneath side of that island reversal in the chart. And if that fills that gap, then we have that opportunity that we can break on higher and retest this resistance in the SPY. Now, if those bears find inspiration today, if you remember, I suggested we might fill the gap, come back down here, test these um, areas of the chart. And that's kind of where we were. So if the bears find inspiration, I'm going to look for a retest of that area or maybe right down here to yesterday's low um in the chart so watch for that for a little bit of support but if that were to break where do we go and honestly i don't think there really is too many other places in here that we can look for potential support until we come down into this area of the chart which would be pretty hard pullback but once again looking at that as you can see no harm, no damage to the chart. Um, as a matter of fact, it may be a healthy move for us to go down there into that area as we wait for the next round of earnings. Let's take a look at our QQQ. QQQ also leaving a bit of a window behind not as clear an island reversal here. And then of course yesterday, big techs pushing back up a lot of defense on the big techs right now trying to suggest that they can never go down again but if you'll look at this um, area right in here if the bulls find inspiration look for a little bit of resistance right in there to see if that holds if that fails then look for the um, resistance up in this area to um to be the place where we would be we would be watching pretty closely if the bears find more inspiration here a retest of yesterday's low looks very possible and then we would probably be looking at a level down here if um, that area were to break you can see we've got a pretty decent price support in there once again pulling back into there might actually be a healthy thing for the market to do as we wait for earnings reports and then kind of keeping in mind that we're still a long ways from our 50-day moving average so it really wouldn't create any technical damage at all in the chart if we did pull back there if we take a look at our russell however russell had a little bit more damage that was created in here Obviously, this has been a very tough resistance for the IWM to get through. And what we saw yesterday is, is not only a breakdown, but we gapped below this support level in the chart. So if those bulls find inspiration here today, I would look for that opportunity that we would push back up, maybe test this area as resistance. If that breaks, then maybe we push on higher here to uh, uh, fill that gap and see if we can break up into there if the bears find inspiration well there really isn't much other support than this one right here so if we were to break down i would look for us to push down into this area to retest this support and if that were to break well then it gets pretty ugly here um, in the chart you can see we could move down fairly sharply. There's a little bit of price support in here. And then of course, uh, down here on the top of that little platform area, but then it starts to get a little bit uncomfortable here in the market. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX um, did spike up yesterday um, on that fear. So it acted a little bit um, more um, normally and pushing back up, we went all the way up in here to 17 handles in the VIX, showing that fear really creeping up. And then as we rallied back yesterday, it dropped extraordinarily hard. When you consider that our bond yields are still way out of control, uh, bonds plummeted hard yesterday and the yield spiked up. Um, uh, and as of this morning, our two-year bond is still at 5% and um, still showing us a, a terrible inversion in the market. So there is stress out there um, in the marketplace and there is that little bit of fear starting to perk up in here. And I think it, it it's really gonna depend on how that number is reacted to today 
to determine how we're going to complete this pattern. Uh, keeping in mind, if the bears find that inspiration, look for a re-push, um, uh, push right up through there and maybe a test of that area. And if the bears really get going, well, maybe we're up here testing around that 18 handle in the charts. If the bulls find inspiration, I see no reason why we can't test this area in here and even push on down and retest some of the lows here in the market if the bulls get really inspired. Let's take a look at our T2122. You know, one of the things we've been dealing with here in the market is our four week new high, new low ratio was we were banging against this overbought condition and we stuck up here for quite a while well we took care of a lot of that yesterday all at once and that's one of the things that um, I've been mentioning is is when we when we linger up here for a period of time when it breaks it usually breaks hard kind of what we had going on yesterday and we pulled this back quite a bit so we relieved a lot of that overbought pressure really quickly here in the market but we didn't relieve quite enough to finish this pattern to the downside not saying that we have to but what I'm what I'm going to suggest is if the bears find inspiration then we have to understand that we still have pretty big opportunity to the downside here in the market. If the bulls find inspiration, then let's look for that bounce back up. Sometimes we'll stop around this 50% area here where we got about uh, equal weight in the new high, new low. But if that breaks, then let's look for that big opportunity to bounce up here pretty hard in the chart and um, recover uh, quite a bit of that selling. If the uh, T2102 T2122 is a little bit concerning. T2108 should relieve some of that um, worry here in the market because T2108 is the percentage of stocks above the 40 day moving average. So, although we did pull back yesterday, 57 and a half percent of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average so there was really no technical damage here as you can see and we looked at the charts no technical damage there we're still holding in this upside trend and we've got good support levels across here in the chart so so far the bulls are holding in there it really depends on how we react to the data today our uh, t2107 is very much the same thing continuing to hold in this upside trend, we've got good support levels in this chart. Uh, fell just below 50% of the stocks above their 20 day moving average. So watch that closely. If we can find some support in here and bounce on some good data, we'll be okay. If this were to start breaking down, that's where the concern starts to come in. And I think we're gonna make that decision this morning based on the data that we're going to get. Um, here uh, on the employment situation number. Let's take a look at our T2101. This might be a little bit disappointing here. Um, we had that hook over showing that there was that potential momentum shift from the upside to the downside. And boy, we got that yesterday with that momentum shift coming in on the data. Now, watching this closely, notice that there is no hook here suggesting that we're going to move right back up. So that being the case, we do have to be watching for that momentum to maintain itself to the downside here just a little bit, but it's going to be data dependent. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar has, oh, where did I put the economic calendar? Let's find the economic calendar here this morning. Um, shoot, guys, give me just a second. There we go. Economic calendar. Um, there we are. We've got um, the employment situation number here this morning. Now, if you remember um, yesterday, the ADP came in at a number. They were expecting somewhere in the uh, 235,000 um, on those private payrolls, and it came in more than double that. 497,000. So today, looking at our employment situation number, consensus is ex suspecting or expecting 213,000 um, on that on that number. So, boy, keep in mind if this were to come in um, as hot as the ADP number, 
um, I would expect the market to react pretty negatively to that. If it comes in better than expected, then we're going to see some bullishness come right back into the market quickly. So this is going to be key this morning, and we could see a lot of volatility um, in the pre-market uh, because this comes out at, at 8.30 a.m. Eastern, an hour before the actual market opens. So watch that carefully here today. We've got a natural gas report and the Baker Hughes rig count. So after we get through this, there's not going to be a whole lot to inspire the market um, all that much. Now, when we look at our earnings calendar today, boy, there really isn't a whole lot going on here on our earnings calendar. As a matter of fact, there are only two verified reports. We have an IPA, which is a $3 stock. It's not going to be a market mover at all and probably no one really cares much about it. That one's coming out before the bell today. And then we have AZZ that will be reporting um, after the bell today. Um, and I doubt it's going to be a, a very notable either because this is such a um, typically a low volume stock. So not too much um, on that earnings front to be concerned with at all. It's going to be all in that economic data, worries about what those inflation rates going to be. I would suggest keeping an eye on bonds. Bonds have been very problematic here for us. The inversion between the two tens are... Uh, it, it's terrible and it's suggesting um, uh, you know we keep hearing from all of these folks soft landing soft landing soft landing there's nothing about that bond inversion that suggests soft landing as a matter of fact it says we're coming in hard um, but we'll see maybe they are um, as smart as they think they are and um, they're going to be able to engineer a soft landing but it's not looking good at the moment Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that quick favor and that's um, leave a brief comment, click those thumbs up buttons. That helps a lot. And just another uh, shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link. You guys are truly awesome. Thank you so much for the kind support. Never in my wildest dreams did I expect that there would be this kind of support for content um, that doesn't provide any prediction and doesn't provide any hype. It's all about looking at the technicals of the chart and removing that emotion um, so that we can have a better idea how we might want to approach the market for today. Um, let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact um, I think you need to do your own due diligence. You need to be watching very very carefully to follow your personal trading rules. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea and make sure you're following your risk um, requirements for any trade that you take. So let's take a look here. Um, I um, FDX is a chart that I placed an alert on yesterday and you can see FedEx is looking pretty good here. We rallied up strongly and now we're getting this nice resting consolidation. We can see clearly where trend is and if this were to rest out into this area, I'd be looking for that next opportunity for FedEx to extend to the upside. Keep a close eye on it. It's a pretty nice looking chart. It's not quite ready for prime time yet. And you can see that FedEx does have that tendency that it can rest and consolidate for long periods of time. So perhaps it may even slide past this trend before it gets uh, really gets going. But watch that carefully. It's got its next report on 928. So there's plenty of time in here for this to rest and uh, maybe set up for that next upside move. You might also want to keep an eye on UPS. UPS has had a sharp move up here recently and now we're resting back a bit. If we can find a little support location in here you can see we're trying to find 
little bit of support right in this area. If we can rest in this area, consolidate a little bit, we may have to rest there for a while to kind of catch up on that trend. And then we may have that opportunity to move on higher and break into that gap above. Keeping in mind, guys, that if we're going to be a bullish market, um, then we need these shippers to be showing that uh, folks are out there spending. Um, so here we have that downtrend break and right in there is where we're trying to hold um, here in the market. Let's take a look at some other stocks. As you guys know, I was looking at some of these pay systems um, out here um, with the bonds um, perking up yesterday like they did. Uh, PayPal got hit pretty hard right back here testing support some support in the chart now as long as it holds this support i think it's okay we could bounce around in this range a little bit but doggone it if this were to break in here that's going to be a little bit of a problem for us if you take a look at visa visa on the other hand held up really really well breaking through this resistance yesterday's um, price action didn't really hurt this chart at all so let's keep an eye on this if visa can just continue to rest and hold in that area maybe we'll come out here and contact this trend and we'll be looking for that upside move there in visa uh, mastercard mastercard kind of the same thing it just didn't get hurt at all yesterday here in the chart so let's keep an eye on that one area that did get a little bit of price damage is uh, kre let's take a look at kre here with bond rates going up or bond yields i should say going up that's really putting a lot of pressure on banks that hold massive uh, massive uh, portfolios of bonds and um, we're talking trillions in debt that these banks are carrying right now in um, hold to expiration um, accounts now hold the expiration accounts means that they don't have to report it as losses it means that they can kind of hide that from their um, balance sheets that they're holding massive massive losses on these bonds now looking at this chart you guys can probably see the pattern in here we have a potential of a head and shoulders a pretty nice looking head and shoulders as a matter of fact starting to show up in here so let's keep an eye on some of these regionals if we were to break the the neckline here of this chart you measure from here to here and it would be a pretty easy move to see us coming right back down here to these lows and not be all that much of a surprise so watch that carefully here i think carry is setting up as a potential short it's really going to depend on how we react to some of these data points and if those bond yields continue to um, raise or go up in the market that's going to be a problem for the banks if you take a look at um, um, the the big banks whoops if you take a look at the big banks they had a little bit of a pullback yesterday and then bounced right back up trying to get some buying in here so if they can hold this support probably going to be okay um in that chart notice we've got that little upside trend but if they were to break this back down through here that's going to be a concern for the market particularly as we're heading into big bank earnings that begin next friday so watch that carefully financials may struggle if those bond yields continue to move to the upside taking a look at other things here in the market you know i'm i'm a pretty close watcher here of the dollar and the dollar has been extremely volatile here lately we shot up yesterday as those bond yields went higher and then we pulled back we got a little tiny bit of softening in that and we pulled back on this area notice this is a pretty big level of price resistance in the chart for that US dollar if we were to break through here that's going to be a problem for the market we need to see this starting to pull back so keep a close eye on that area and then i'm going to talk about um, energy here energy had a rough day yesterday with the dollar surging up however we also saw that the opec cuts are really starting to have an impact on our supplies here in the united states so we may have that opportunity that we could start seeing energy come back up because of that impact as long as demand around the world doesn't collapse too much and that would be recession if that demand collapses too much here in the market then we could continue to see oil sell off but 
if um, our supplies continue to shrink and that dollar doesn't gain too much strength here, we could start to see these energy stocks begin to move up. I've been keeping an eye on um, Occidental here because we broke that downtrend. Yesterday's move here was really harsh in that chart, pulling it back strongly. But I still think there's an opportunity here to be watching for that next potential pop in the chart just simply because um, those um, oil reserves, oil supplies are so low here in the market. So keep a close eye on that. So with that, everyone, hey, I'm running this video a little bit long. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for listening and being here. And I will see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Wish you all the best.